Normally the dialog box looks like this. It's a fairly abbreviated dialog box. But when we click this button here, in the bottom where it says show more options, it actually gives us more options. And it can sometimes look like this, where that little bit there says output. Now we don't want it to look like this, we want it to look like this, which is colour colour management it says here. Now don't be too bothered about this terrible word colour management. It's simply a tool that we're going to use and we're going to get all the information straight from the laboratory, from the licensed laboratory, and we're going to follow their instructions pretty blindly so we get to where we want to be. We're not going to go into a fantastic colour management debate. So there's colour management here. Now down the bottom we can already see that we've set up Photoshop correctly because it says here source space and the document is Adobe RGB 1998. So we know we're in the right environment of colour and that our extremities of colour suit our printer perfectly. And we're going to get good gradation, we're going to get good extremities of colour. We're not going to exaggerate colour but we're not going to understate colour either. Now what we do now is we go down a little bit further now to where it says print space. Now this is the most important single aspect of this driver where we can actually select the profile. Now let's look down here and see if we've actually managed to install these, these profiles. Let's have a look, see if we have. Now I'm looking up and down this, let's, let's bring the camera up so you can see all of these profiles here. And there they are. We've got five of them that we've installed. Where are we? So we've got five of them there. That's it, that's better. So we've got the Portfolio Fine Art, Profoto Gloss, Profoto Satin, Silk Fine Art and Standard Fine Art. Now in this case we're going to use the Profoto Satin because the licensed satin is by far the most popular of the lot. Um, pr uh, uh, the, 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 the satin paper is, is really fantastic, it's a fantastic paper for, um, for production uh, imaging on the Epson 2880. Uh, uh, between the gloss, the Lyson gloss and the satin, it makes up pretty well uh, 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 the entirety of, um, uh, of the uh, of a production, uh, um, a production uh, digital, uh, digital printing for for desktop printers and the other advantage of course is that the license papers they, they they're they're a little bit cheaper they're nicely cheaper than the rest of the brand uh, papers they're better and they're cheaper but I, I would say that wouldn't I obviously so now we go down to a little bit further down we've got the Profoto Satin uh, uh, profile there now let's go a little bit further down now we get to the settings now the settings are advised to you in the user instructions that come with the that come with the uh, the profiles. Also, you're able to download these settings from the website along with the profiles. And I like to, to take a little. Uh, where are we? Can you read that? Yes, you can. Yeah, I like to have a little crib sheet and I write down all of the all of the uh, uh, the settings for myself. That's my little crib sheet. And that's what I'm going to make sure I, I put in to the, to the printer driver now. So let's go to the printer driver. And we've actually got here, um, this is perceptual. Now according to the settings that the laboratory tell me, I've got to put down perceptual. Black point compensation, that's not ticked. I don't tick black point compensation. Then I can go back up to the the the... Uh, I can go back up to the dialog box and I can press print here we are press print and we've got the new dialog box and I go to this thing here which is called properties so this dialog box comes in now now this top little bit here select setting this is the area where you can actually save your settings so that in future you simply select the right setting and it does all the rest of the work for you and you can save it on this little button here. But for this pur for these purposes, we're actually going to we're actually going to um, it, uh, put put the settings in. So we go a little bit closer here, and the next one here is media settings. It's the media type, and let's open up this one here. And according to my crib sheet, we've got to select 
uh, Epson premium semi-gloss paper. So the way to do that is for us to go uh, photo paper, and there it is. Epson premium semi-gloss photo paper, so there we are. So that's correct. The next one down is colour. So we have the colour, or advanced black and white, or grayscale. Now in this case, uh, with the Lyson, with the Lyson inks, uh, pretty well right across the board, we always select colour only. We never print with advanced black and white or grayscale. We just keep it as colour. We go down a little bit further now, and we go for speed. Now, as far as print quality is concerned, again, the 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 crib sheet, the the settings that the laboratory have told us, we go print quality, and in this case, for the two eight eight zero, they've told us to go to quality, and it's it's speed four, and high speed on, and we click OK. So that is print quality, quality options, and then we can, well, let's, let's show you again, because I'm, I think I went through a bit quick. Quality options, the speed, the speed was number four, and then we have uh, high speed on, and then we click OK. I like to make sure that everything is covered here. We go down for the for the next one here. Uh, for the mode, we click on custom, not automatic. We go on custom. Now we'll click on custom, and across here we've got a thing called advanced. And we click on advanced, and up the top, we've got this little dialog box here, which is say, says mode. And in this case, we select Adobe RGB. A little bit further down is gamma. And the gamma, we're told to apply 2.2. So we click OK, and we can press print now. But just before we press print, what we can do is we can press this Save button, so we save our settings. Now we can save our settings here. Now along here, uh, we can type in Lyson 2880 um, Satin, because it's satin paper, and let's say P for portrait, and it's A4. We've got to be a little bit cautious here, because the Epson uh, driver, when you move from one size to another size paper, it won't necessarily remember the settings. So let's say you're doing A4 portrait. If you're going to do A3 portrait, you may have to... Uh, you may have to to save another set of settings to make sure you've got your settings appropriate to that particular to that particular format. So all we need to do now is we can just click OK to this. So we can we can just click OK to the bottom down the bottom. We click OK to print, and up the top here now again we can click OK and we can print and it's actually printing now. Now the magic of magic of video allows me to actually let's turn the printer off because we don't want the noise of the printer actually and it's so let's 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 stop that a minute now as if by magic we've actually created the the print because we don't want to wait about a minute or so for the print so this is this is the finished print that we've actually produced on our inkjet printer now we actually generally have produced this but we did actually produce it earlier so this is our print from the from the 2880 and what we can now do is we can actually check the accuracy of our own print against the against the print that you've had posted to you and not a bad idea to mark up this print which has been posted to you because the worst thing you want to do is confuse the two now what you're doing is you're comparing, first of all, the most important thing when you're printing is to get a good rich black. The white of the paper is important because that's, that's, the, that's the paper itself. That's what you get when you buy licensed production paper. You get a much better white point than most brand uh, papers that are out there. Uh, also what you get with Lyson is you get a fantastic smooth gradation from a good rich black up to the white of the paper. You get an amazingly smooth gradation and it lifts off beautifully. That's what we're looking for. We're also looking for these primary colours to be nice and clean and the gradation to be nice and smooth. 